All right, back at it. So, and, and that was my kid, you know. I might make a few of these little chop, chop, chop videos because my kid, I, I, gotta, I gotta spend time with my kid. I gotta talk to my kid, right? So, where was I at? This part of this game is only the only essential juice that you're gonna get from this at the very end of it. Like, we're talking about the long haul, the continued play, everything else is you're going to play through the story. You're going to enjoy watching the video content. And you're going to be immersed somewhat in that experience. I feel like they did a great job. Blizzard did a great job with that part of the game. But it doesn't last very long. They make it where it's very beatable. So they have these layers built in for the cheesy gamer. But it shouldn't be at this price point, if that's the case, right? I mean, it's at a heavy price point, so there should be further desire to go beyond that base level part of the game. It isn't just, I played the storyline, and that, no, Diablo's never been as a storyline thing. It's like, what's the journey beyond that? And so the journey beyond this is bland. You are continuing to fight these little monsters. They put in stuff called Hell Tides. And if you haven't, if people have been making these videos now after what's getting ready to come out on the season pass, and, and I'm going to get to where I'm at on the whole thing here at the end, but they come out with the season pass, but before they do the season, before you get to go on the new adventure of hell with, with the devil, they insert uh, a level of nerfing. That once again, this is why I made the first video rant that I, I haven't, I'm not posting, but I'm posting with, I'm, this is my response to that, is this is the whole problem. No one can get consistency with what they're doing on the game. So you may have built this nice empire. And when I say you've built an empire, you build one. But then they come along and change all the little fucking nuancey shit that you busy studied outside the game, by the way. To get to this point, they change all that. They nerf it to a degree that you no longer can play your character. And somebody says, well, that's what Patches is all about. It's about making things right. You know, they don't always get it right. You know, that's what beta testing's for. And yeah, if somebody exploits the shit out of it, so be it. I mean, it's unfortunate that stuff happens like that, but you guys made the game deal with some of the new ones, but don't change it drastically to where somebody has built their whole kind of like a life around this setup and then you F it up. It's not that hard or easy of a game to where they needed to nerf or buff it so much. Like... The guy said it in his video that he was making, and we're talking about content creators that have been like talking about the game. They're like religious on this, making videos every day, posting all the updates whenever there's new patches coming out. I mean, they're, they're just constantly content generators. These guys have lost their shit. And you're talking about diehard fans losing their shit. That's, that should not happen with a game you're making unless that's your intention. I wonder what their fucking goal is. Like, if their goal is to make people frustrated and upset that they don't even want to play or they're playing even harder, like, to a point where they're exhausted like I am. I've been exhausted. I don't even know how I made it to 100. To be honest with you, I was struggling around 70s and to the 80s. Well, I would say 70s range was when I started making that video. And the only reason why I was able to keep moving forward it's because I did have a lot of gear. I could make some potential stuff, but I was able to make the Bone Necro. And so when I did the Bone Spear Necro, the life changed. I, I was like, well, actually, it wasn't even the Bone Spear. I actually made a Blood Summoner type build. So it was Blood Surge and a Summoner combination. And that was fun. I actually was starting to get through some of this stuff. It was, you know, a couple level tiers higher than, you know, my leveling. So I could go through these dungeons relatively well. And I was casing that and studying it. And it was like I was having a good time. And then I decided to say, well, now that I've been able to do this, let me see how the Bone Spear Necro will go. And Bone Spear Necro just like washed all that away. Like I didn't care what play by any other build type. 
that Bone Spear was legendary in its efforts or whatever its outcome was for giving me a good character. But I am playing nuancy stuff. I'm trying to get gear. I'm trying to look for certain gear, like the Ring of Mendel. I ain't had no Ring of Mendel. They're at the like they're they're that damn unique. Is so freaking unique that it should be for me at least on my account. It could be problems with individual accounts that some will get something and some people will never get anything. I don't like that. That's not a very fun, fair game if somebody's trying to create these leveling nerfs between classes. It's not fair. If somebody is constant, somebody else could be playing this game and they'll get basketfuls of Ring of Men down. But then somebody else is like, I've never seen it before in my life. I've never seen it. And I even had another character, another uh, YouTuber that made content that said that, well, guys, don't be trying to farm for these things, these legendary weapons or equipment or whatever. Just go and play the game. They say, just go and play the game and work till 100. By the time you're at 100, you would have gotten all that stuff that you're looking for. Look, I got Black River. I was happy about that. Uh, I mean, I can make some different builds off of it. But, again, your only driving force for excitement, really, is finding gear and that the gear hopefully supports what you're trying to make as a character. But then that becomes undone or turned over, whatever you want to say, whenever the freaking developers get their fingers in there and they start adjusting everything. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in a video. It's like somebody that is trying to grow a crop. And then before the fucking vegetable can sprout through the dirt, then somebody's going back in the soil and digging it up. You can't even see the fruits of your own labor because these jackasses have changed something. I'm sorry to call you developer jackasses. You're going to be called a lot of different things. I'm just sharing, I'm just coming off the cuff here. But that's what I'm going through. That's what other people are going through. Here's a, here's other problems with this freaking game that I put in that other video. I mean, I was ranting bad. I was sick of it. I had stopped the game. I had started smoking her. And I sat down and I started, yeah, I just threw up. A little bit throw up here too, right? So here's the one of the biggest problems. You have a skill tree that you go through and you set up and you're always trying to reconfigure. Um, you might want to play a blood type build or blood surge build, and you put all your little skills and you try to learn all the little stuff on outside the game to develop and make this guy the type of blood surge build. You want a strong one. You want to be able to go in and conquer against these, these things. You don't want to come in and be like half-ass. Like I said before, the game would never need a nerf or buff so much between classes, but maybe there was some of that if it's dealing with PvP. I can get all that, but the game itself was already very freaking difficult. And the fact that they would allow you to scale up your uh, Nightmare Dungeons in tier class means, or at least ways it's indicative for me, that you should be allowed to have dynamic, strong builds, strong characters, strong gears, strong item scores, strong everything that you can rake through a ton of higher class or higher experienced monsters or whatever you're, you're attacking in this game. You, now I get that. that. That makes sense. But when you now can't do that for, well like you used to, and you got to keep playing around in this little tight box, well, why even have it as an option? It's like it's like the developers left these loop, these open-ended areas to study how the players are going to be so that they can only come back and then fuck us. That's just not cool. This is an undeveloped game. It's a, got a lot of stuff to it, but that's because that's what they put in there. That's what they designed. They structured this thing out to be so granular that it became this problem of, well, we'll just sit back and watch the gamers and then we'll take notes and then we'll just adjust along the way. 
like your business model for how this game is working is nobody's maybe even saying this. Maybe they are, but it's undeveloped. It's an undeveloped game. In some in some regard, that's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna just smash you on that. But at the same time, like it's undeveloped in ways it should be developed. Like that little playing around area should have been taken care of. You guys should have already iced that to know that people can scale to about this degree. And then that's how far this is going to allow them to go as far as fighting content or monsters or anything at that level. But no, I think they just took notes. And then they nerfed what the abilities should be. And people were having a good time. The people that were having a good time, I know I ended up becoming having one of those good times. Like I could come in and kind of one-shot some stuff. Didn't mean that I couldn't get killed. Just because you see me get them on and, and figure some out and move around and, and that's part of the game. But I could still get one shot it. I was a glass cannon. You know, that was what I was building towards. But I still tried to structure my strength out. So as long as that was built into the game mechanics, that was fun for me. Because there was always that opportunity, even as a glass cannon, to get my ass whooped. I mean, there's so many people that made these Bone Spear Necro builds uh, on videos for YouTube that you would see them as they were rolling out how badass this build was, and then they would get killed in the process. And you would laugh, and then they would say, oh, but it's a glass cannon. It's just a glass. It's going to happen. You know, you're gonna... And if you're not paying attention, you're going to get killed on some days. So, yeah, okay. Now, with all I've heard about these new nerfs, People come in and they play and they die. There's no room for even that. Like the Necro already had it pretty fucking rough. There's ways to kind of improve it. But he, they, they, the Necro was great with the cannon. They gave him like some hope. And then they like peeled it back on some other stuff. And then they enhanced it in some way on other things. But the Necro has always been that one class that you could just keep tweaking to hopefully make it better. And then they nerfed the shit out of it. They said, okay, you had hope in your bone spear. Instead of raising the bar on these other skills, slightly bringing back the bone spear and leveling the playing field of builds so that it's more fun. And then somebody picks a, maybe a blood surge class or a blood class build and then they're actually feeling like they have some sustainability. Like they, they're more tankier in the game versus being more glass cannon with a bone spear. That would have been something to aspire to and creating a character. But instead, they nerfed the one hope that we all had. And then they gradually raised the others. They didn't do the ratio correct. And they're paying for it. This is They have to perform with a new season. And they're making it harder than ever for people to even enjoy that season. And they're not taking into account my demographic of people the older gamers they're just focused on this little subset what are you gonna do hire these guys for fucking nsa or something like come get the fuck out of here we got ai now what are you are you designing for ai cause come on this is like you're not even making anything enjoyable for that so here goes part of the problem that i'm having here with the with how this design so i i was I was somewhat mentioning things about the skill points. So you put all the skill points, you make your build. Great. Let's say you want to transition from a blood surge build over to a bone spear. Necro. I'm just using Necromancer for an example because that's all I've ever played. If you have to go in that direction, you have to go through and individually pull each of your little stupid skill points off and then charge you money for it, which is like shit. The money that they charge you to pull these things off is irrelevant because you make so much. They didn't. They didn't even figure. They should be addressing the currency in the game. And honestly, nobody should be even be paying for this for the skill removal stuff unless somebody's doing something really stupid. So it's a mute point to even have to lose money to change up skill points. It's irrelevant. We make you make so much money doing the things in the game. It doesn't matter. So anyways, um, but you have to take off each skill point individually and put it on the other thing that you want to try. And it may not even be what you like. And so then you have to go back and then you have to put all the 
the points back into those other things. And you're constantly shifting them around because you're trying to figure out what's going to be the best setup and is this going to be ideal. But here's the thing. Builds are a real thing. Builds are actually classes. Builds are profiles. What the developers would have really done well with doing, and if they watch this, I hope they do and they take notes, they could have just made these into damn profiles. They could have made them into character profiles. So that each time somebody had made a setup, and if you want to charge gold for that, fine, whatever. But they, they make a profile for the Blood Surge build, and it saves. You can save that, and if you want to go into a different category with, let's say, Bone Spear, and you're like, I want to feel like a Bone Spear. I got my build set up for the situations I'm going into. Now you can make the nuancy crap that would maybe hurt somebody who built their bone spear all the way out, but would not necessarily hurt them experiencing a blood lance build or a blood surge build. So now you can see how this could change. Maybe somebody wants to go back and play with their minions. I'm a minion guy. I could not use minions. I'm playing with minions the whole fucking game. So I, I did just you know contradict myself, but I played with it as much as I could and I've exploited as much things as I could with those damn things, and it was a struggle. I made it to certain points, and then it was like, this is not the way to go. And after I found Blood Surge and kind of sacrificing my, my minions, which I never wanted to do, and finding Bone Spear, which I used my minions with them, but it was like, poo poo, I don't, I don't really need you guys. Finished sacrificing all that. I think I finished sacrificing them out with the Blood Surge build. But now, I, they're irrelevant. I don't need them anymore. Again, I might like to go back and try to figure out a better way to play that. But I'm not going through and changing all my skills over and over between different build pursuits. and it, It's a wash. Every single time. And I'm not mentioning the biggest nuance shit yet. I'm still talking about just the skill points. They went ahead and added a second layer of asshole to the equation by making this Paragon board, which they have fucked on this latest patchwork. Insanity. My first argument in the first video was they should never make a game that when people are designing their character and they're having to go outside of the game to learn how well these mechanics will interchange and work with one another or find out what how they operate uh, in, in game. Because sometimes things are not really spelled out well. You don't really understand exactly what this is, how it's going to really perform in game, in action. It's just you read it and then when you try it, it's like, ah, it's not really performing like I thought it would. I'm just get rid of it. You don't notice that much of a difference adding or taking away. That's not a really good Met, um, uh, metric or, or, or use of some skill point or something that you're trying. Anyways, my, my point is here. When the developers come in and change all of the percentages and, oh, now it's better. You just recreated the hellstorm that somebody went spent the time to nuance out, trial and error it out for them. They figured it out and their gear that they have been running and looking for this whole damn time. They've done that. They've looked up the... One sec. This is my kiddo again. 